For the last three years, SES Lighting has worked with the Waterford Condominium Association in retrofitting all of their light fixtures to LED technology. In this video, Clayton Cole, a board member, will share the successful outcomes of the project. So here today we have Clayton Cole, who is the CEO of SES Lighting. Uh, Clayton had a unique perspective of um, actually being a customer for the Waterford Condominium. So Clayton, could you describe for us the facility, the Waterford Condominium facility, and uh, how SES Lighting has worked uh, with the Waterford over the years? Sure. Well, Nelson, as you know better than anyone, We've had great success at the Waterford with SES and lighting and LEDs. We can, I'm the treasurer of the organization, been on the board for many years, and um, it's so fun to see the savings each month in each area, whether it's the fitness center we have or whether it's the main tower. We have a fitness center, we have a main tower, and that's 14-story building. A lot of lights are on 24-7, and like the stairwells, the garage, the hallways, and we couldn't be more pleased with the savings we keep seeing month after month because our projects, as you know, for, with SES have been over a three-year period. We started looking at the Waterford's utility expenditures approximately six years ago, and at that time, LED was new, and it was just coming on the market. And the Waterford chose to relamp their garage with fluorescent lighting. Can you explain the impact that had on the utility bills, if any? And then when we came in this year and put in LED tubes, have you seen an impact? Well, the LED tubes have just been put in, so I haven't seen any impact yet. Our first meeting and, and numbers will come in uh, this week, actually. But uh, the other one, we didn't see any savings at all when they re went from T12s to T8s. No, no savings. Let's talk about the quality of lighting in the garage facility. Before having fluorescent to LED, what, what's your opinion or what was the impact on the brightness and the quality of lighting? Well, it was a total change. I mean, it was like walking into uh, the old way. It was like walking into kind of a dim area. And the new way, when I opened the door from the hallway of the, get off the elevator, go down the hallway, go into the garage, it's like I'm going into sunshine almost. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it's easy to see uh, anything that you want to see in the whole area, which is very good for security. And our security cameras are way better at showing that on the security desk what's going on in the garage now. Well, that's a, that's a great point, uh, Clayton. Um, security cameras love LED lighting. They do. They're, it just makes them at least 50% better. So the rendering on the security camera footage is 50% better Oh yes, with LED lighting? Yes. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, let's, uh, in this segment, talk about the maintenance activities. Being a board member at the Waterford, um, you're, uh, you're obviously involved with discussing the maintenance activities of the maintenance staff. How, how many maintenance uh, people do you have at the Waterford? Well, we have three. We have... Uh, one main maintenance person and then we hire out most of our jobs but I've noticed those maintenance people are doing other jobs that uh, they didn't used to get around to now because I think part of it is because they don't have any light now that we've gone through the three years and the different phases of LED lighting they've freed up themselves quite a bit so they're working on areas that are more uh, important to the residents and maintaining the rest of the facility better because they have more time absolutely that's great. That's a great benefit of LED lighting. Is the Waterford facility on 24-7? Obviously, it must have to be because you have common area hallways and so yes. forth. And our security is 24-7. So, I mean, we have our hallways, as you mentioned earlier, our garage, our stairwells. They're all 24-7. Yeah, in this segment, let's talk about the outdoor lighting at the Waterford. You have... Uh, street lighting, you have um, lighting that goes down to your garage levels and uh, in the port de entrance you have uh, lighting that we, we put in last year. What's, how has that uh, light been received by the residents and did it improve the security or safety of well, 
Yeah, it's a, it improved the security cameras like we just talked about uh, right away. And uh, the street is, feels more secure because it's better lighting. And that, we're on a private street. We don't have, that's not a state or a city street. And so we have total control of what we put on there. And we're real pleased with the LED lighting because it's much clearer out there. And, and we have a transition across that street to the Waterford Fitness Center. And that's even more important that it has good lighting. In this project over the last few years, we used a number of different manufacturers for uh, the different areas of the Waterford condominiums. Uh, have you had any significant failures of, of lights? No, it's like those stairwell lights, I don't think one light has gone out in there. And the garage, of course, we just put in. We had a little bit on the candelabras, but it was very minor and the company replaced them. That's great. Well, thank you for joining us today, Clayton. Uh, we appreciate your perspective, not only as CEO of SES Lighting, but also as a board member of the Waterford Condominiums. We like those savings every month that we're seeing.